Hi, welcome to this Dare Tailored. My name is Sarah Powell and I'm at the University of Texas at Austin. And today we're focusing on how to solve one-step equations that have an addition operator symbol. And by addition operator symbol, I'm talking about this little puppy right here, the plus sign. And we're gonna solve problems with materials that we have just laying around the classroom. So we're gonna use some cups and counters, and I'm actually gonna use some post-it notes and counters as well. And we're gonna do that to solve these two equations, x plus four equals six, and then we'll look at seven equals x plus one. Let's go ahead and get started. So we have our problems written right here. Remember, I always like to have the abstract form of the number, uh, the problem written out for students. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up using what we could call cups and counters. I'm actually gonna use plates today because they're kind of easier and flatter to work with. So I'm gonna get out one plate. Notice I have an X written on this plate. So I have X and to that plate, I'm going to add four. And I'm just gonna use some buttons that I have laying around. I'm gonna go ahead and bring four of those buttons in. Now on the other side of the equal sign, we have six. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring six of my buttons over here. And so if you're walking around the classroom and students are setting this up, you can see, oh yeah, you're solving x plus four equals six. Now we wanna isolate this variable. And so to isolate this variable here, I wanna remove these four counters from this side of the equal sign. This is my constant and I wanna remove the constant. Now I can subtract these four from this side of the equal sign but remember, whatever I do to one side of the equal sign, I also have to do to the other. So that means I would have to subtract four over here. So that then we have x equals two. Now that was a really simple way to solve that problem. You also might wanna think about using two color counters to set up and solve this problem, because then you can emphasize solving the same problem and focusing on zero pairs. So I'll just go ahead and show you that one very quickly. So I have x plus four, and that equals six. There we got my six counters just there. Now to remove this constant using zero pairs, I'm going to create four zero pairs. Each of those will equal zero. But if I brought in negative four to create zero pairs there, I have to do the same thing on this side of the equal sign right there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my zero pairs. And let's see, I can remove some zero pairs on this side of the equal sign. There we go. So x equals two. Works in the same way, but it's a little bit more uh, fancy. It's a little bit more expert by thinking about creating zero pairs. And that's important for students to understand because it might not always be as easy as just taking away four from this side and four from that side. So now let's solve this next problem here. Let's do seven equals x plus one. This time I'm gonna use these fun little creatures here. I'm gonna go ahead and get seven of them out. So I've got five, six, I'll bring in the dinosaur for seven, and that equals x. Now I'm just gonna use a simple post-it note with an x written on it, plus one. Now I'm going to remove this constant to isolate this variable. If I remove one from that side of the equal sign, I have to remove one from this side of the equal sign. So now I can see one, two, three, four, five, six equals x. And if I plug that back into the equation, seven does equal six plus one. So those are some ways that we can use everyday classroom materials to help students understand what it means to solve one-step equations.